I'm an American Jew. Let me tell you why I unconditionally support Palestine. Growing up, I remember hearing about how Jewish people were excluded from public life. In 1935, the Nuremberg Laws were put into effect. It stripped German Jews of their citizenship and their right to marry Germans. In 2018, the Israeli nation-state law was passed. It downgraded Arabic and established settling in the national interest. There was a ban on intermarriage and groups like Lahava, which are responsible for pogroms on the ground, terrorize anybody who tries to marry and often just anybody who's Palestinian. My grandparents told me stories about how in 1939, all Jews were forced to wear a Star of David. It made them an easier target, easier to identify. Palestinians are forced to have specific ID cards which indicate their level of access. Palestinian vehicles have to have different colored license plates which indicate which roads they are or not allowed to drive on. Following the invasion of Poland, Jews were forced into ghettos barbed wire, fences, cut off from the rest of society. They faced shortages of food, water, and medicine, and they lived in constant fear. Gaza has been under blockade from food, water, and medicine. In 1939, the Germans bombed the Warsaw Ghetto. For the last two decades, the Israeli occupation has been relentlessly bombing the Gaza Strip in a tactic that they refer to as mowing the lawn. All Jewish history is about rooting for the underdog. If you supported the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, then you understand oppressed people wanting to free themselves. Do you think the Maccabees are more aligned with the Palestinians or the Israeli occupation? I don't know about you guys, but I'm old enough to remember when Jews rooted for David and not Goliath.